Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Stormworks video and welcome to episode 8 of our classic career survival series. Today, we're going to be starting a new build. So the plan for today is to build a small twin prop plane and get it running. So next episode, we can put some weapons on and head down to our not so friendly neighbors. <laughs> All the way down that way, I think they are. And hopefully we can claim some land down there. That'd be really good. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty guys, so we're going to start with the nose first as usual. So we're going to go with some wedges on the top and the bottom. Turn them around like that. And we'll put some on the side like so. Yes, and then we're going to try and put some pyramids in these little gaps. Alright, it's not going to be a very big plane. It's going to be fairly small actually, but um, that is all good. Just a little plane to get us down there. And we're going to add some weapons onto it as well, which should be pretty nice. So we'll turn some wedges like that maybe. We'll do the same on the top. Uh, we'll turn that around like so. Uh, we should probably put some four long wedges on next. Maybe some of these. We'll go around here, turn it around, and like that. All right, that is all right. Uh, now, should we... We won't put a four on the side. We might go make it fairly wide. So we come out like that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We can always change it. And then a, another wedge on here. Something like that. Is that enough for two seats? One, three... Yes, that will fit two seats in it. Okay, that's good. That's what we want. Two pilot seats. So we'll go like that. Get rid of all this mess in there that we don't need. Perfect. Very nice. Uh, right, that is all right. So let's um, put some of these in. We'll try and fill in this gap now. So if we go all the way up to there. Is that right? Is that is that going to work? <laughs> um, I might try and put some of these on here if we can make these work. Will that even fit if we put one of these in? Let's have a look. Oh, oh, wrong one. I can never get the right way. <laughs> okay, yes, that works. That works very well. Uh, we'll put some more of these in. Let's turn that around. Boop. And up to there. Yeah, we'll go with it for now. Uh, we'll put some of these on the top. Yeah, okay, perfect. That looks pretty good. Uh, so what are we going to fill? What if we use one of these, actually? Will that work in here? Yeah, ooh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we'll go with it for now. And we'll go like this. Something like that. And then on the bottom, we'll go two out again like this. And then we might start to bring that... Or should we just have it flat there? Maybe we should just go flat from that spot on. Because we don't want it to be too big. So maybe if we went like... Oh, that looks a bit flat, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, we might fill it in and see what it looks like first before we make a decision. We can go like this. Is that going to work there? Maybe. <laughs> uh, hmm, what if we go like this? Uh, bring that down. Is that gonna... Can I come any more? Is that it? Oh, 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 that's it. <laughs> okay, something like that. That'd be fine. And then we could probably keep going back that way. And then we'll put one more of these on. Like that. Okay. And then on the edge of this, maybe we could have some wedges that come upside down here. And that can be the side of the bottom. That can be the bottom of it like that. So that'd be as wide as it needs to be. Let's check. So if we have... One seat there, one seat. Yeah, perfect. So we'll fit two seats in here. That's that's really good. Uh, we'll grab one of these then. We'll put this in there. Come up. Perfect. And that will be the side of the plane. That doesn't look too bad, actually. I think that's all right. Hopefully, it's fine. <laughs> um, now, let's... Uh, what should we use? Some of these inverse pyramids. Try and end it off because we need it to come as wide out as soon as possible. So we could go like that, maybe? Yeah, that'll probably be fine. Can we put... We need to put something in here too, so we turn that around. Boop, and go like that. That should be fine. Oh yeah, that looks good. Very nice. <laughs> um, I think, or should we? No, you know what we'll do? We'll put some of these on, we'll turn that around, and then that can have the window on it for the front. So if we, we'll put the windows on now, how about that? Uh, window, so we can get an idea of the rest of the shape. Do we need one of these to go here? Oh yeah, that'll be alright. And then maybe e diamonds. Is that what we need next? Very nice. So we'll go with that. Hopefully it um, works out alright. And we'll get rid of all this, all of that, all of this stuff. Oh, not that one. Uh, these ones in the middle there. And then we'll have dials along the front there. Alright, so we'll leave that vacant for now. Open. Um, now, should we have doors in the front? We probably could, actually. Uh, how high up do we want the seats? Because that would be too low. What if we came up, up to here? Would that be too high? We'll put a seat in and have a look. Uh, boop. I don't know. That would be good, actually. That would be really nice. And then we'll bring that up like that, maybe? Yes. All right. Now, we'll continue the rest of the plane going back. 
Uh, we'll go like this. And we're going to have it a high wing twin prop, I think. Unless... Yeah, we'll probably have a high wing one. I think that'd be a bit better. Uh, anyway, we'll get to that in a moment. So we'll come all the way back. I don't know how long I want to make it exactly. But we can always muck around with the length of it after. And we we'll go like that. Okay, that's cool. And maybe we can put all our fuel down here. That'd be a, a good spot to put it nice down low. So it won't be so top heavy. That'd be nice. All right, now, how are we going to end the back of this off? Hmm. What if we get rid of this to start with? All that. And we'll grab maybe one of these. No, that won't work. We've got this there. Uh, maybe one of these then. So if we turn that around like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hmm. We can put another one of these in there. If that comes up. We need to like come in though. That's the, that's the thing. So maybe we could do that right there. I reckon that'll be all right. Should be fine. Uh, if we grab some wedges, turn that bit around and bring that up a little bit. I don't know. I might come up with a design and I'll be back and I'll show you what we got when I've done it. <laughs> all right, guys. I think I'm happy with that. It's got a little bit of a funny spot there, but it should be all right. Hopefully. <laughs> um, I think it's also a bit long. I'm not quite sure. I haven't worked it out yet, but we'll fill it all in for now and assume that that's okay. Um, now, there will be an angle along here, I think. So, we might get rid of all that layer. All there. Yep. Yep. That's perfect. And we're going to put some wedges on the top of this. So I'd like to have some sort of a curved roof if possible. So all the way to there just for now. We'll sort the back out after. Now we need to work out what we're going to do here. So maybe we could bring that uh, to there. That should be fine. Maybe. Um, actually, what if we come all the way to here? No, nah, that's not going to work. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll put some of these in, some pyramids like that. Yes. Uh, now, can we use some double ones here? That would be good. So bring that all the way to there. Yep. All right. Perfect. And we'll get some wedges. Some of these bad boys to go across like that. That is looking okay, actually. That looks pretty cool. And then if we had that all filled in. Yeah, very nice. I wonder if that looks... No, oh, it looks a bit boxy, but I think it's all right, though. Should be fine. Now, we have a bit of room in the inside. Hopefully enough, yeah, six blocks to walk in. That should be fine. All right. And then we'll bring the roof over to there. And we've got to make this join up somehow. But I don't want to worry about that right now. <laughs> I want to do the wings. Um, so, twin prop. We're going to have wings there and there. No, a bit further forward. Maybe like... That, that'd be fine. We can always move them after. Let's, let's see. Let's put them in. So, rough outline of where the wings will be. Yes, that looks very good. We can come back one more block as well. Make them fairly chunky, boys. Yeah, that, that's probably fine, actually. And should we have them two blocks thick? That is my next question. Should we see what that looks like? Boop. Y yeah, yeah. <laughs> that should be fine. And then we'll have the engine sort of sitting, you know, about here. That should be fine. So maybe we could just make a little indent there. And a little indent at the back as well. Where the engine's going to sit. Somewhere there. Uh, now, what propellers have we got unlocked? Oh, yeah, a few. Very good. All right, nice. Um, we're also going to use modular engines for this as well. Um, since we have them unlocked. Which we did it a while ago, actually, didn't we? Um, now, should we put some sort of supports on here? So where's the middle of the wing? About there. That come up. Oh, yeah. Uh, should we come up from here, maybe? Might be a bit better. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll leave it there for now. It should be fine. It's going to come right in the way where the engine is, though, isn't it? Hmm. Right, okay, we'll leave it for now. Um, now, let's see what we can do at the back of the plane. So, we'll grab some of these. We'll come forward. Then we'll come forward again. Yes, and we can go like that. Then we're going to need some... Actually, get rid of that. Get some wedges. Turn them around, and boop, and boop. Yeah, that's, that's looking all right. And should we fill that in? Should that come down a little bit? Or, nah, should be right. What if we make it come up like this? We turn this wedge around. Boop. Start coming up like this. And then have the tail at the back. So maybe we could have these facing backwards. We have a block that comes up. And we can have like the tail sort of there. Should be fine. So we'll bring that down just a little bit. So we can actually have some room. Um, now, control surface. Uh, small, yes. We'll chuck that in about here. Should be fine. Turn that up this way. Boop. Okay. <laughs> it's probably fine. We might come forward one more block. Uh, this one. Turn it upside down. Yes. Okay, something like that. And then get some wedges. Let's see what we can do at the back here. If we can make that kind of angle back up. Oh, that's going to look funny there though, isn't it? Uh, what if we get some of these? Actually... Just turn that there for a sec, so we have something to build off. Boop, get rid of that one now. Boing. Uh, oh, I didn't do it on both sides either. Right, I have to do it anyway. Boop, 
Okay, something like this, and turn that around, and we'll come down. Yeah, something like that, and we'll put a little wedge in there. And then we get some of these. Something like that. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I don't know if I like that. Uh, can we put that there? Oh, it might, might be alright. We could probably just put some little wedges in, like so, fill in that gap. Hmm. Jeez, we got a, we got a bit of room in here. That's really good. We could probably put a little bed in there or something. Be nice. Uh, now, what's going on here? I might change this. <laughs> uh, we'll turn that around like so. We could have it like this, maybe. Actually, you know what we'll do? Come up like, back one more block. Yep. And then we'll put a wedge on like that. So it sort of angles up. And we'll put the same thing on here. Pop. Okay, that, that's looking all right, actually. Oh, that's going to be way too tall, though. What am I doing? <laughs> Maybe we could put some of these on. That'd be all right. Yes, and we'll come out like that. Okay, and we'll probably try and fill this bit in if we can. Um, I think that looks fine. I, I, can't, I can't tell. And we're going to have to put some little wings out the side here, aren't we? Like this? Yes. Uh, we'll just come out a little bit more for a minute. We need some of these, so we'll make a little hole in there. And we'll put these in... Uh, they need to be the same way, don't they, actually? So, that way. Is that correct? Correct, Amundi? Should be. And we'll go like that. We'll put a little wedge in there. Oh, that would be D. And take caps lock off for some reason. And we'll go like that. I don't know, they look a bit funny. They look a bit thin. <laughs> Maybe we could make them link to this a little bit better. Uh, perhaps we could get some bigger wedges. Turn this around. Y yeah. Okay. And then fill those blocks in. Can we get some of these maybe? Go up like this. Boop. And boop. Okay. <laughs> we get a little inverse pyramid and we'll fill this area in like that. That's probably fine. That is okay. That will do. Don't care. All right. Now I'll just put a little angle on there too. I think that looks a little bit better. I think this is looking fine. Um, now, what we might do next, we might put a bit of landing gear on. A bit of landing gear. We might put some landing gear on. So maybe they can come out maybe here. Uh, they're not going to be folding away kind of ones. They're just going to be sort of always out. Uh, I think that's kind of what I want to go for. So we might put them just behind that post there. Is that going to be wide enough? So what wheels have we got? Oh, only these. No suspension wheels. Maybe we could unlock that. Yeah, they look funny. <laughs> uh, right. We might leave that for now. We might unlock that in a minute. We'll maybe build the engines first then. Uh, so, we have a little bit of room here. Let's see what we can come up with. All right, so we might start by putting a block down here and we'll go modular and we'll grab some uh, crankshafts and we'll turn them this way. Yep, and we'll go all the way out to there maybe. I don't know how long I want the actual engine. We go something like this because the clutch is going to be on the front. So we could go clutch. Yeah, like this. Okay, and then we're going to need a gearbox, and we'll turn that that way, and then the propeller will be on the end of that. That should be fine. And then, how many cylinders do we want? So, go back to modular. Whoopsie. Um, these ones. So, if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or should we just go six? Six should be enough, surely. We'll turn some upside down on the bottom here, too, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, th these supports are going to have to go for now. They're in the way. They're in the way. Right, and we'll go like that. Okay, something like that. We have a 6, 12, 18, 24 cylinders. That's a, a fair chunk, isn't it? So now we could put a few of these in, just uh, like that, like that, and we could just maybe round off the front like that. That should be fine. So they're all linked together. I believe that is enough. Uh, now we need a drive belt on here. So that will be where we have our starters and whatnot. Very nice. Um, that's not too big either, so we could easily build around that, which is pretty good. Uh, speaking of, we could probably put some... Wedges in underneath there and over here. And then the bottom will just link together. So that, that bit's very easy. Um, but we'll leave it open for now because we have to put some pipes in the wings. So we might, speaking of wings, have we got wing pieces? Yes, we do. We might put these in now and then we'll put the pipes on the other side, the back of the wing there. So maybe we could go like this. Uh, we have to make a bit of room, won't we? Yes, and turn them upside down that way. Yes. So we could go like that and leave a gap along here. We'll see how far out we can come to... We could go three. Are those wings, they're definitely big enough. Then we can have the end of the wing right there. That'll be fine. Uh, I don't know what we're going to put on the bottom of here, though. We can put some little wedges to make that look half decent, maybe. Uh, turn that around. Oh, didn't even put that down. Oh, yeah, that's fine. So we'll do that all the way along. 
all the way to there. Ah, we'll leave it for now, should be fine. <laughs> uh, so now, let's fill that in like that. So that is the same on each side. Now we have all this room for pipes because it needs to run down into the bottom of the aircraft where the fuel will be. Because I'm not going to store fuel in these wings, I don't think. So we'll have a few pipes that come down into here and like that. And then they'll come out into a port here. So we'll put these in now while we're here. So we go like that. And then we'll go to pipes and we'll make them link up to the top. All right, something like that, that is fine. And then we're going to go back to modular and we're going to get uh, some fuel. So that will just go straight that way. That'll be fine. Yeah, it's the other way there. And then we're going to need what is next, some air. So we can have air intakes right at the front. That could be pretty cool. Might get rid of that. Put this here. Yeah, and we could put, maybe we'll move these. Change my mind. <laughs> we might move these behind that. That'll be just fine. So we'll turn them around and we'll stick them all back in the same spot. And like that, that's fine. So we can have our air intake right at the front. So we'll go like this, and then we'll put a fake one over here so it's kind of even. Pop, get rid of that piece there. Very good, very nice. Uh, next we have exhaust. Uh, we could just put it under here, it'll be fine. And that can just shoot straight out the back with some catalytic converter, so cat. And yeah, we'll put a couple of these on, so a bit less smoke. Yes, uh, we might also move it over with some pipes because I don't want it to be coming out the side. I don't want it to come out the exact middle. Be pretty good. So we'll just put some pipes on that for now so we know it's there. Just come out like that. Very nice. We'll put an exhaust piece on the end of that after. Um, we'll go back to modular and we need some coolant pieces, don't we? Um, so that connects on to there. So, right, so let me hook up this. Where are we going to put the radiator as well? We could put it underneath. Yes, that's what we can do. Uh, radiator. We'll grab just a little baby one. Can we make that fit here? All right, that should be fine. The radiator is actually connected up. So that, that should be right. <laughs> uh, now we have this fuel here, so we might connect this up while we're at it. Let's do it before. Here we go, Oop, definitely not like that. Boop, yes, and we need to calm down. So that's gonna be sticking up a bit high, isn't it? Actually, you know what we'll do then? Get rid of this and we'll put it on the side. That's a lot better, I don't know why I had it up there. <laughs> there we go, that's perfect, that will link straight down. Very nice. Now, we need some wedges on the back of the wings. Uh, so we'll put like that. We'll put another piece in there. And we're gonna do the same thing all the way along. Yeah, that's all right. It <laughs> should be fine. Uh, now, there's gonna be, the engine's gonna connect up to these bits here, isn't it? And then we need some inverse pyramids to fill in these gaps right there. And we need that to go there. And we'll turn that like that. Awesome, looking good. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and build in the front of this. So maybe we could start by putting some of these upside down. That'd be right, yes. Uh, we might put another port in the middle, make it look, yeah, that'll probably be fine. Uh, now we don't need to seal that off or anything, but we'll still fill it in with some blocks, obviously. Something like that, and we'll put some wedges on the bottom of this. Boop, yes, like that. And we'll put some little pyramids in like so. Boop, and boop, very nice. Now, how are we gonna end off the top of this? Maybe we could put some of these in. Like this, like that. Alrighty guys, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it looks all right. I changed it to twin exhaust at the back and I th I'm pretty happy with it. I like it a lot. Um, now, propellers, what are we going to use? We have rotor ends. I think you can change the size of these ones, which is what I want. Yes, that should be fine. That looks good, that looks really cool. Uh, we might make them slightly bigger, what's that? We'll go 80% on both and boop, very nice. That is looking sick, that looks really cool. Very nice. All right, now, let's uh, fill in the wing like so. Very good. Uh, what we'll quickly do while we're here is we might um, fix up this bit, the little wing support piece we had. Now, do we want it to go past that or do we want it to go on? That's not gonna work at all. Do we want it to go like past the engine or do we want it to like hook up to the engine or something? I don't think we want it going on the engine. Maybe we could go like under here. <laughs> Maybe we should use some of these wedges. Something like that. that, that looks fine. And then our landing gear will be down here. Very cool, that looks awesome. Very, very happy with that. Now we'll fill that roof in like so. Very good. Now, um, we should probably, well, you know what we'll do? We'll make a little spot to get in so we can test it and we'll put a bed in so we can have a snooze and do some research. Uh, boop, because we need to research land vehicles, I think, so we can get the wheels. That is what's next. So we'll go jump in. Boop, how's the view from in here? Oh, awesome. Very good, we're pretty high up, aren't we? 
That looks really cool. I'm very happy with it. All right, so we have a fair bit of snoozing to do because we still haven't finished this mission. So I'm going to sleep to get rid of that. And then I'm going to research uh, land vehicles and sleep again. <laughs> it's got a lot of sleeping to do, man. All right, guys, I've done all our sleeping and we have our wheels, which is very good. Uh, so whereabouts are we going to put these bad boys? So we could make like a little, a little thing like that. Uh, how are we going to attach these ones on? All right, I think that looks all right. <laughs> They're a bit small. We could probably... Make them a little bit bigger if we wanted to. Maybe we will. We'll just go up. Uh, we'll just go two. That'd be all right. And boop. Yeah, that'll be fine. <laughs> now we need to put something on the front as well. So we need a robotic pivot. Uh, we don't have pivots, do we? Oh, dear. We might have to go and do a bit more research. We still got the bed in there. Yep. All right. I'll do some more research. All right, guys. Here they are. We finally have them. So where can we put this? Like right under here. That'd be all right. Yep. Yeah. All right. We'll turn it upside down. Oop. Yep, like that, and we'll just put a wheel straight on that, I reckon. Uh, what are we going to use? Just these little little ones? Turn that upside down. Yeah, uh, let's see what that looks like when we spawn it in. Oh, it looks alright, I think, but um, it's a bit back heavy, so we'll sort that out. Anyway, that's alright. Not a problemo. We'll have some weights and stuff in here anyway. We'll make sure it's all good before we actually take off, which will be fine. Uh, now, I think the engines look really cool. Anyway, <laughs> uh, what are we going to do about here? We'll fill that in. We'll have a door right there, will we? Or should we box that in one more? And then the pilot can see out there. Okay, and maybe this can hold whole bit here, can be a door, maybe this can open. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll put some pivots in here. Um, so we'll go pivot, grab some of these, and we'll go like that. Now what we might do is we might connect all that up to here. So if we go blocks like that, like that, and then should this be a part of it? Yeah, we may as well get rid of that. We'll put that on the door. And then we'll have some windows, so we'll go a two by three, like this. Yeah, and then we're gonna have to put just a block in that area, aren't we? Like this, I suppose. So maybe we could turn that around like that. That'd be fine. So there's that door on that side, and then the same on the opposite side. That should be enough. Unless we just make, nah. You know what we'll do? We might move these back one more. So we we'll go back to pivots, and we'll put them in there. That might be a little bit better. So we'll connect that to there. Yeah, that that looks a lot better. Perfect. All right, now we'll fill in the front of this again. Perfect. Now, I would like to make the fluid spawner in here. So what do we got? Oh, we don't have custom tanks. Ah, all right, more research. <laughs> all right, here we go. Fluid spawner, that is a lot better. Um, so we'll stick that down in here. Very good. And we need a meter as well. A liquid meter. We'll just um, put that here, I guess, to be fine. <laughs> uh, now we need to fill in this bottom bit. Just seal it off at least, so we can have the fuel come all the way to about there. And then we'll just block that off like so. So we've got a whole big old fuel tank down here. And we'll have to end it off at some point. Uh, I wonder if that'll be enough if we just put a block along there. It should be fine. So that is the whole fuel tank there. That, that'll probably be enough, especially when we spawn it in. It should weigh down the whole front. Yep, perfect. Very nice. That is a, a bigger plane than what I was hoping to build, but it's, I think it's cool. I think it's very cool. All right, so the next thing we might do is we might put some windows and stuffs in. Um, should we block off the pilot seats from the rest of the plane? We can have it like that, maybe. Then we can put some seats and whatnot along here. We'll get rid of that bed. Uh, now, we do need a door to get in. So, should we have that here? <laughs> it's a tiny little door. Ah, one, two, three, four, six. That is a puny little door, isn't it? Deary me. Right. That's not going to... Are we even getting that? <laughs> should we put a, a little door at the back, maybe? We put a door here, yeah, and then maybe you can walk in on a lower part and you can walk up a ramp and get onto the higher bit. That'd be fine. So we'll go like this, put some of these in, and you can walk in on this level. That way we can actually walk into our own door. <laughs> Very fancy. Uh, we'll just have one on one side as well. So we'll block that off like this, yes. And then we'll have a door that folds out here, I reckon. So we can get rid of all that. We'll get some pivots out again and we'll make like a little door thing. So we'll go like that. And then we get some blocks, we'll go along. Okay, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. So that is how big that door's got to be to fill in that gap. Uh, what we'll do is we'll put some wedges on the bottom of it too. So then it's a bit easier to walk up. Boop. Uh, yep, perfect. All right, that should be fine. And we'll put a toggle button on. Uh, oh, we don't have a double sided one. All right, more sleeping, <laughs> more research. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Beautiful. All right. So we'll stick these right here. That should be fine. Or we'll go down one more, maybe. Go in there. 
Yes, perfect, both sides. Now, we need to make a controller for this, don't we? So we're gonna need uh, in and an out, so we'll go like this. All right, perfect, so we're gonna put the controllers in the back of the plane, so we'll just go maybe right at the back here. Perfect, we'll put that down low, like that, and we'll connect that up, and that should work. I don't see why it wouldn't, to be honest. Perfect, that is good. Now, we need um, a battery as well. I forgot to put a few things in the engine, <laughs> so we better do that. So the battery can go right in the front, so we're going to turn that like this. Perfect. I forgot to put alternators and starters in. <laughs> My bad. Uh, so we'll make a little spot to get in here. Uh, just one starter, one alternator. That should do it. We have a spot for both of them. So we go to modular. Uh, we need a starter. That can just go here. Boop. Boop. Perfect. And then we're going to need an alternator, which is this one here. So we're going to go up under if I can get in here. All right, perfect, that is all in. So now we can replace these boards again, like that, very nice. Okay, awesome. So we're gonna need a constant number for this as well. So we go constant number for the clutches and whatnot. Um, so we can just put that up here, that'll be fine. All right, so now we're gonna make that a positive number, one, and we're gonna connect that to the clutch on both sides. So we'll go, where are we? Here, so we've got uh, this one, the fuel, the fluid pump and the alternator, and we'll do the same on this side as well. Boom, boom, and we also need the clutch there and there. Okay, so next we're gonna go for gyro, and we're gonna stick that in the back as well. So we just put that on the floor. No, nope, yep, right there, okay, cool. Uh, I'll connect all this up, and I'll be back in a moment. And I forgot to add some control surfaces onto the wings, <laughs> so we better chuck these on now. Uh, we might go underneath, actually. Uh, we will go like, are they going to be too big? They're massive. Phew! Okay, we might just use the smaller ones. I thought they might have been a bit better, but that's fine. So we put that... Oh, we'll come out one more, actually. Uh, we'll go like this and put them on here. So we'll just do it on there. Yeah, and then we'll have to go over here and change this one around. Like that. Perfect. And then we'll fill in the rest of the wing. Alrighty, very good. Now, we should probably start with the dash. We're going to do the interior first. I want to do the dash, then we'll work our way back, maybe. So, we'll get some toggle buttons. Uh, so, this can be the main on button. Uh, it's going to be a very basic cockpit, this thing, because, yeah, we haven't got a lot of stuff unlocked at the moment. We can always upgrade later on anyway, which is fine. We'll get some dials going, and we'll go one here. So, we'll probably put all the controls, all the sensors in as we go. So we'll have um, speed, so then we'll get the speed stuff out now. Speed, uh, this one, and we'll chuck that up on the roof. That will put it up here, that'll be fine. Yes, very good. Now we need a function block, and we don't have those unlocked. All right, guys, I just did some research because I couldn't be bothered to make one, so here we go. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need them anyway, so we'll chuck it in the back here-ish, yes, like that, and we'll go, what is it? Uh, X times 3.6, that should be right, I think. And we'll bring that up to here, so that was the speed there. And that connects to that. Perfect, now, do we have an altimeter? Yes, we do, awesome. Uh, we'll chuck this one on the bottom, so it can read underneath us. I did not put that in the right spot, did I? Boop, awesome. And we'll connect that just straight up to here. Altimeter, very good. Uh, we'll label this, alti, out, that'd be fine. Zero, and mean maximum thousand. All right, so temp. We need to add a temp sensor to these engines. Uh, we probably could just do it on one, but I think we'll do it on both just to make sure the weight's always going to be perfect. So let's find a little spot where we can attach it on. Have we got a spare spot somewhere? I think I've seen somewhere. Boop. Yep, perfect. That's connected up, hopefully. <laughs> uh, we'll fill this back in. Boop. Very nice. Uh, so we'll connect up that one. So temperature. That will go down to there, and that is the battery. That will go to there, and then we have the RPS. That will also go off there. So that is all off the left engine, but it should be fine. Uh, next, we're going to get our modular engine controls, which is these ones here, and we'll put one on each side for each engine. So we'll go like uh, this. Yep, perfect. All right, I might connect all these up, and I'll be back in one moment. Alright guys, so all the electricity and all the electrical connections should have all been hooked up, I think. I don't think I missed too much. Um, what we need to do is we need to add a park brake onto these wheels, like that. Perfect. And we also need a fill port for the fuel tank. So we could probably just put that down here. Should be fine. So we'll go fluid, we'll just get a little anchor, and we'll chuck that right there. Perfect. And we'll just put a port on the end of that. That should be all we need, hopefully. And we'll go like that. 
Alright guys, so next we need to put something on the inside, try and get it looking a bit more like a plane, so... Maybe, hmm, we have a bit of room down the back here too, don't we? We can fill that in like that. Okay, so we have a bit of room in the back, and we have a bit of room here. We could probably put some windows in to start with, uh, on both sides. So we put a porthole there, one there, maybe every every three blocks we do that. We go there, and one there. Yes, and we could probably put one at the back here too, just like that. Alright, so we go porthole. Don't have portholes. Uh, we might just have to use some regular windows then. I suppose, go like this. They don't look as good though, do they? Uh, I don't think we can afford portholes though. I don't know how many resource points we have left. That looks alright though. That'd be fine. Well, as long as it lets some light in the plane, which is pretty cool. Um, so the main purpose of this is going to be um, heading down to see the AI, but we also need a few other things in here, such as a bed and some seats and whatnot. So maybe we could start by putting some passenger seats in. So we go maybe just along one side for now. We go like this, yes. Something like that. One, two, three, four, five, we go six. What if we had seven? <laughs> That'd be fine. Oh, we could probably squeeze, squeeze eight in. We put one there. We could put the floor up like this along here and we could put some little wedges on the side. That'll probably be okay, actually. So we go like this, go along like that. All right, so you walk up there, we've got some things, some beds. And at the back here, we're gonna have a regular bed uh, should we turn it sideways in the back? Now we'll put it on the side because I want to be able to get in the back to repair parts if we ever have to. So maybe we can just go like this. Yeah. Alright, so we've got a bed in the back. Very good. We'll put some little wedges on that. And boop. And boop. Okay, that's that's cool. <laughs> uh, now here we'll block that off, but we're going to put an emergency hatch in there. Uh, so we just so we can get in if we ever need to. So when we get shot down, we're going to need to repair the whole plane. <laughs> so we can go like that. That is fine. That will do just for now anyway. We'll put some other bits and pieces in as well. Um, I'm going to give this thing a quick lick of paint and then I'll update you guys and show you what we got. Alright guys, that is the paint job finished. I'm pretty happy with it. It doesn't really look like it's going to have <laughs> weapons all over or anything, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> we're going to use it for other things as well, but um, right now we're going to use it to go down and see our friends down the coast, but we still need to put the weapons on, but we're ready to give it a test anyway, so let's spawn it in. Let's make sure all the doors and everything work. Yes, perfect. Very nice. And I put these ones on as well. Awesome. Oh, hello. Hi. How you going? That's a big plane. Whew. All right. Uh, let's jump in here. Shut the door. Uh, we'll turn it on. Okay, it started straight up. All right. Uh, throttle up, I guess. Here we go. Whoa, we need to hit those trees. <laughs> Deary me. Uh, whoa, what is, what is going on? Real good. Yeah. Oh, what's it doing that for? <laughs> uh, it should be right. We'll put the gyro on. See if we can angle down a little bit. All right, flies really well. Look at that. Hello. Hey, oh. We were going to buy this place, weren't we? Uh, how fast are we going? 380 k's an hour. Very good. Uh, the temperature's going up. We'll keep an eye on that. Are those propellers? Yep, they're spinning under there. Very good. Awesome. Very nice. It's trying to lean one way. Might have something to do with the way I've done the propellers, though. Uh, it's all right. We'll sort it out. Uh, RPS, 26. Okay, fuel. It's going down very slowly. Perfect. So we should make it down there pretty easily. So whereabouts are we now? Yeah, we're already heading down. Let's turn around and go back. So we have to put the weapons on before we head down there. Uh, we're going to do that next episode, though. Uh, we'll turn around. Very good. All right, let's head back down here. We're probably... Should we try landing? We may as well. <laughs> we may as well give it a shot. Uh, we'll have to slow down a lot more though. Uh, so the runway's facing that way. It might come out this way a little bit. And we'll try and line up and we'll give it a go. All right, here we go. We're gonna try and come in as careful as we can. Uh, we have my throttle down a little bit. Yes, throttle down a lot. I don't wanna stop in mid air though. <laughs> just, wanna, just wanna slow down. So we're still doing 200. Still plenty fast enough. All right, we're going to slow down even more. Oh, thralls off completely. Oh, dear. We're going to fall out of the sky. No, I better not do that. Okay. Coming out. We're way too high up, man. <laughs> All right, they're coming down. Coming down. Coming down. Here we go. Oil spill. No, not that again. Here we go. Boop. Awesome. Very good. Oh, stop. Oh, look at that. We did it. <laughs> Somehow. Uh, we'll turn the engine off. Very good. Uh, let's jump out. That was awesome. Very well done. Uh, we'll shut the door. Yes, look at this. Whoa. <laughs> hey, careful of that bad boy. Uh, this works all fine, doesn't it? 
Yep, we can walk up the ramp into the plane. We need some lights and stuff in here, obviously. Oh, we can walk. Oh, there we go. All right, so we've got some nice passenger seats. So we can see out all the windows. Very nice. Awesome. Well, that might do us for today, guys. Next episode, we're going to add some weapons onto this thing, and we're going to head all the way down and see what's going on down here. I don't know how much fighting or whatnot we're going to do, but I would like to maybe claim this whole land if we can because they're starting to take it. Maybe a couple around it as well. Uh, that, that is the plan anyway, so hopefully it works all right. We've got forest fire still. Very good. So what, the, where's the oil spill? Where is that oil spill? I have no idea. Anyway, thanks all very much for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next video.